Good morning, my merrymakers. Um, thank you for joining me today. You might see hear some background noise because my three-year-old is awake. Um, I did not get around to posting this yesterday because uh, yesterday was just so full. Um, never got around to asking my sister if I could uh, vlog with her because we just had a really good conversation uh, in the car for that hour and a half that we had to travel to the yarn patch. So... Um, I've got my yarn patch, and then I've got a little something I wanted to, uh, a little happy mail. Wanted to show you all of it at once because it just, it arrived all at once. So, um, hey, this is mine. Hi. So the first thing I got, hi, Rosie says hi, is this purple yarn. Yay! Yeah, we like purple. And I bought this orange to go with it. Now, this purple is from Gems Lux Fibers. It's their classic DK, which is a 100% superwash merino 8 ply. This is called Lord of Justice. Now, I wanted to find a color like this, but they didn't have one um, to go with it, and I'll show you why in just a second. But this is Malabrigo, of course. Um, so this is also a DK sport of 100% superwash merino. This is the color Sunset, and the reason I wanted to get those two is so I could make this shawl Imagine purple and orange instead of blue and orange. <laughs> the other yarn I got, I got three balls. Yeah! Yeah, three balls of Mill Fourry from Barocco Light Lux. Sparkly. Um, this is, whoa, hey. Yeah, 50% acrylic, 43% wool, 6% nylon, and 1% other fiber. It is a fine weight, too. And I bought <laughs> this to go with it. Uh, this is from Cumberland Fireworks. Not fiber, fireworks, fiberworks. Uh, this is sparkle fingering um known as sparkle daydream it is 75 percent superwash merino 15 percent nylon and 10 percent <laughs> stelina there is 437 yards um did i say how many yards is in here did you stick something on your nose um 350 yards per a donut. <laughs> and the reason I bought that was so I could make this shawl. <laughs> this is called Butterfly. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Now this originally calls for a fingering weight. Um, so it might end up a little bit bigger than what it's showing here but I just liked the kind of stained glass effect and I thought that those two colors would work together. I bought this um, while at the store but it is available on Ravelry. The, I got a second pattern called the Savoy Cardigan. Um, so they had a, um, what is it called? A sample of this, uh, <laughs> at the store and it, um, the, they, the darker teal color that you see in this picture actually was like, um, a little bit variegated. And I thought it, it looked really cool. Please don't press the stop button. 
I also managed to finally get my own Knitter's Pride ring row counter in rainbow. No surprise there. And I like this because it kind of locks, so that means the three-year-old can't mess with it as well. And now for my happy man. I got two items. Oh, oh, they're a little smaller than I imagined them to be, but that's okay. <laughs> Are you just saying hi? <laughs> Can I show off my yarn? Yeah! Yeah, look at that. So this is Dandelion by uh, Melody. Melody by Wooltrum. Um, very similar to those cotton cakes that you get from Hobby, but I don't think it's cotton. Yeah, it's a wool, a wool acrylic blend. It is a 750 meters of, of a fine weight. And of course, I've actually been looking for something like this because it's Green Bay Colors. Are you saying hi? I'm trying to figure it out. And then this one is called Madness Number One. I thought this would make a very beautiful, um, it's also, uh, or 750 meters of wool acrylic blend uh, and a fingering weight. Uh, I thought that would make a nice Easter shawl. I don't know if you can see the different colors of thread that are all blended together at the end here, but it's like purple and blue. Like, yeah, that's not picking up. Um, but like I said, this reminded me of, like, the cotton that I get from Hobby. And I don't know if it was because that other shawl is called the butterfly shawl, but I got the an idea if I could find a shawl pattern that made this look like a monarch butterfly. Um, I might have to get some more black fingering cotton in order to make it work. But Monarch Butterfly is my favorite butterfly, so I am really excited about hopefully finding a pattern for this. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little mini yarn haul. I hope you enjoyed my daughter. <laughs> and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow's tutorial. I can speak. Tomorrow's tutorial is how to make a bunny from a square. It's going to be one of a longer tutorial, but I think you guys will like it because um, Easter is on its way, guys, and hopefully it will be just in time for you to make some cute little bunnies. Until then, my merrymakers, make what makes you merry.